Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're having a nice day. The sun is setting here. It was a beautiful day for me. Saturday, it's about seven o'clock now, almost seven o'clock. So I do have one thing I wanna talk about and that is customers that are trying to be sneaky. In one mile, exit right. And sometimes they just wanna save some money, but I would say they try to be sneaky and they try to play with you. This customer, she texted me a picture of her key fob. It was falling apart, taped up, wrapped up in tape literally for her 17 Ford Explorer. It's not an expensive key fob. I could sell it and program it to her uh, car for uh, 220. Uh, in a quarter of a mile, exit right. 240, some, something like that, right around there. Not too high, but not too low. It's an expensive key fob. They run anywhere from 75 to uh, to $55 because there's two different types that work for those cars. And uh, anyways, I texted her, hey, the price is exit 240. right. 240, so she, uh, she said she was at the dealership. I already know it's late in the day. Uh, she's texting me at six o'clock and uh, I noticed she's a little bit delaying on uh, the responses, the text messages back to me. So I'm like, ah, forget it. She's just wasting my time. And I can, I have a feeling, I know when a customer is really just trying to waste your time and they usually will waste your time like uh, really, like really quickly, you'll know if a customer wants a service, say, okay, yeah, you let, yes, let's go ahead and do it. Some customers, they are a little bit, uh, uh, cautious and then they finally make their decision and then other customers uh, they will uh, maybe even wait a week and then the customers who are wasting your time you'll know right away uh, if they're wasting your time but sometimes you can't tell it's, it's hard this one I couldn't tell so I didn't even really try I didn't even really look into it that, that much but with her she uh, ends up calling me after about an hour telling me that she was at the dealership and uh, she's like, okay, well, I, I don't want to wait for them because uh, they're going to be uh, uh, doing it on Monday. And I have to come over here to the dealership because they have a, a locksmith who works at the dealership uh, for the dealership. And, uh, and, and he's uh, not going to be there until Monday. I said, okay, well, I can do it for you now. Let's meet downtown somewhere. She's like, okay, yeah, let's do it because I don't want to wait for them. And I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure they're going to be doing it for cheaper, right? She's like, yeah, they're going to be doing it for 180. I'm like, okay, well, no problem. Let's do it for the 240, like I texted you. Well, I don't know. I think I, 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 I think I might wait until Monday. What? You just, I just texted you the price. You didn't say yes or no. You're calling me and you're telling me you don't want to wait for them. And you, ah, I get what you're trying to do. I didn't tell, tell her that, but I, I already knew what she was trying to do. So I played with her back. I knew she was playing with me. She was trying to like. Uh, some customers uh it's it's they try to wear you down and try to have a conversation with you and they try to talk with you talk with you try to wear you down me i have a lot of patience so when i talk to people i just kind of bounce that energy back to them when they try to put negative energy towards me and i wouldn't say completely negative energy but i would say um like uh just like the feel of the conversation and, and the way the conversation is going, it's just uh, it's just not good, but it's not bad, you know what I mean? So I had a feeling what she was trying to do and I could feel it within just the two or three minutes I was talking with her on the phone. And then in, in, in the end, she's like, well, I don't know, I'll let you know. I know what she was trying to do. She was trying to get me to do the price for 180, just like what she was gonna get it for at the dealership. I'm not going to do it because the key, it's like $70 and she wants me to do it for 180 and she wants me to go and meet her. I'm not, I'm not doing it. If she wants to come to me, then I can do it. But I told her, okay, I'll go to you for 220. No problem. She, she said, uh, okay, well, I think I might wait until Monday, but you just said that you didn't want to wait till Monday. I, I, I. That there's people out there that they just want to waste your time. I would have, I would have rather I, w I would have uh, rather her not even have texted me. Plain and simple. Don't even text me. So, you know what I did? I blocked her number. <laughs> I blocked her number. I don't want her calling me back. Because I know when on when Monday comes around, she's going to call me back. Hey, are you sure you can't? 
why? I don't want you calling me. Uh, if this is the type of customer you are, I don't want any. I don't need you at all. Never again. I, I don't. I don't want to deal with customers who give me a headache. You first of all, you're taking my time by my time by texting me, and then the second thing is you're you're um, meandering about and uh, and you're just uh, wasting uh, other people's time because you're trying to play with them. I don't. I don't like uh, people who try to play play around. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't. It doesn't take offense to me. But get on somewhere. In one mile, the, the more, exit right. The more customers that I cater to who are doing that, the more problematic uh, it's gonna be for me. Because when I have a, a customer who's trying to do something like that, play with you, and if I did do, have this, do the service for her and have provided the service for her, then she's going to uh, she's going to make a problem with me. Let's say the key battery stops working. Well, you need to come out here to my house. I'm not driving. You know, like you're gonna always have some kind of problem with people like that. It's better not to even mess with them. Block their number. And In a quarter of a mile. That's, that's, exit right. That's my input about people who try to play with you. Eh, that's the way I feel. So I think I think that's a pretty good approach. I feel that I feel that's fair. You know, you're calling me. I'm not calling you. You know, it's a difference. Exit right. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's that's what I wanted to talk In about. In half a mile. Let me know what you guys turn think. left.